Um, there's been a lot of talk about my solar panels and a lot of suggestions about how to improve things and I want to thank you all but because you're not here it's very hard for you to comprehend and and get the big picture so I'm going to show you right now uh, why I think my solar panels are in the best place they can be in by the way one pair um, the leg gave out on it so I, I'm gonna build new stands for them with I've got this new wood which by the way the last truckload is amazing so but right now it's 8 o'clock in the morning and notice everything is in shade okay everything is in shade the Sun is peeking up in the east all right the solar panels are almost all in the Sun already As the sun is just, I don't know if that'll show, the sun is just coming over the tree. Just now, peeking over the trees. Just there. So, they get sun immediately as the sun is coming over the trees. The rest of the meadow, even up to where I'm standing just about, and all the way across, even right here behind me, is in shade. So, I've got the solar panels in a position where they get the morning sun. Now, the sun sets right over these treetops actually there's it's all wet here it's all dew uh, the sun sets right over here in this notch and so my solar panels get sun right up until it goes down below that tree line so I hope that it's easier to follow and understand because I, I know you, I realize people just can't can't imagine it because you're not here but I have, I come out every day for two and a half years, um, different seasons, and I check the solar panels, and I check the sun, and I check the shadows on the ground. And although it looks like they, they shouldn't be out this far away, but this is where they get the most sunlight during the whole day, from morning all the way through. Actually, and I'll be honest with you, I'm getting less power with them up at an angle right now than I did with them flat out. Because, see, the ones laying down are getting morning sunlight. The ones standing up are not. Now, I could angle them a little bit, but I have them angled for peak um, overhead sun to afternoon sun. And I'm, you could set them for morning sun, or you could set them for afternoon sun, or whatever. But when I get these up in the air, I'm going to have two sets again. One for morning and one for afternoon which is the best way right now just uh, wanted to show you all the shadow here so that works out so perfect with the early morning sunlight producing power on my solar panels well after working half the day I threw away most of the wood. I had to come home. I got a pounding headache from the sun. It isn't that hot today, but I think yesterday I overdid it. Um, this is all I got. The rest of it, after working seriously, it was only taking me an hour to fill the truck before. And I worked uh, over two, three hours today. And this is all I got. The rest I threw away. But what I got is nearly perfect clean 2 by 4s Look at that. Um, just a little bit of rot on the ends from where they were exposed and then inside is absolutely clean in some places um, Some places where they were touching there's some rot That's pretty bad right there just a spot, but otherwise Some places are clean and some places they're rotten Actually some of the dirtier looking two by fours are more solid like this one right here There's nothing wrong with that and this one here is pretty good um, I wouldn't use them for construction. Actually, look at this one underneath. This one here is really nice. Look at that. I, I still wouldn't use them for building my house. Look where I cut it. Smooth, clean ends. Clean wood. Now, I found this to be interesting. Where was it? Down here. Oh, I can't see it. Some of that wood is almost pink in color. I don't know if you probably won't see the color now by the time I get this focused in there. 
It's pink looking. It says fur though on the stamps of most of these. But this is yellow and that's a pink salmon color. So I actually was thinking it might be cedar, but I've never seen cedar 2 by 4s Yeah, I don't know if you can see the pinkish tone on that. But I've uh, I've never seen pink in 2 by 4s The first few ones in the bottom, of course, which I can't get to right now, were pink and smelled sweet. So nice. But these are decent construction 2 by 4s for somebody suggested a woodshed, which is a good idea, a very good idea. So I'll build it out in the forest to keep my wood in and keep it dry. But also a chicken coop, that's fine for that. So I gotta go in and take a break. I don't feel good, the heat uh, really, well not so much the heat as the sun. It gave me a headache today, but I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to work on the tiny house a bit today. Hi, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. I've been working in the RV behind the scenes. I haven't been showing you this really. I took down my big table uh, on the weekend, I think. I don't remember. I took down the big table that was here. I opened up the space. I put up some shelving behind me. I've got a my my tiny home paperwork and notes I just got to keep it all on hand I had papers everywhere and now I'm put, put it all up here and organizing things I still got to put everything up here but I, uh, I'll get to it so anyway now I've got the shelves it's a pretty cool use for the engine compartment area um, been thinking about doing this for a while so I just think it's, it's pretty cool using this space but well, anyway, um, I just want to let you know, I, honestly today I was, uh, I guess I had um, heat stroke or heat exhaustion yesterday because last night when I got home, or when I got done working, I was in pain all over, which usually comes from, muscle pain comes from dehydration. And today I, uh, I went and got one load of wood, well I actually worked hard today over there, but I um, I came home at lunchtime and went straight to bed. It's now 20 to 6. I haven't done anything today. And uh, I'm just now here at the RV trying to get myself motivated to do something. I don't feel good. I drank a gallon and a half of water, salted water, but it's not doing it. I must have been so dehydrated yesterday from the heat. I worked hard out there yesterday, all day long, which isn't worth messing up a second day. Working extra hard one day and then not working at all the next day is pointless. So that was a waste. Whole day is gone, and honestly, I wanted to get the uh, some work done in the tiny house today, but I just don't feel good. So I just want to explain why. There's no video today. I'm just resting and recovering and drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking. I can't believe how much it takes to rehydrate. So, anyway, sorry about that. I, I was drinking a 20 ounce cup of water every 15 minutes yesterday, but it wasn't enough. It just it wasn't enough. Plus other things. I had, <clears throat> I had a lot to drink yesterday besides water. I drank and drank and drank, but it wasn't enough. When it's hot, you're working it wasn't enough so that's it today